It's a sad and somewhat expensive time here at Clean My Space headquarters because our beloved washing machine recently passed away. It went out with a bang and some squeaks and lots of extra water. But don't worry, we've got enough clean undergarments to survive for at least a few more days, hopefully. This machine has appeared in countless Clean My Space videos and it feels like part of our family now. So to honor the fine service that this machine has provided us over the years and because it's one of our most requested videos and it's a perfect spring cleaning job, this week I'm finally going to show you how to thoroughly clean your washer and your dryer. When this video is over, head to cleanmyspace.com where you'll find an exclusive video talking about two super easy and very cheap DIY fabric softener recipes. So be sure to check it out. I'll put the links to click or tap in the description box below. Now the method I'm going to explain can work for both front load and top load washers. Start with an empty washing machine and add in about two cups or one box about this size of baking soda directly into the washing machine. Just dump it in. This is gonna gently scrub the inside and combat those stale, moldy odors that are left behind via old soap and fabric softener deposits. Now you're gonna run a large, long, hot water cycle and leave it be. If your machine has a self-cleaning cycle, this is the time to use it. Once the baking soda cycle is complete, we'll then add two cups of plain white vinegar and 10 drops of essential oil like tea tree or lavender. This helps combat mildew and mold. And the vinegar will also act as a mild disinfectant as will your essential oils, which are by the way, completely optional. Just run another cycle through, again, the longest, hottest, biggest one you can find and let her rip. The vinegar will help break down any deposits and further remove moldy smells. Once both cycles are complete, you can give a quick wipe down to the drum and agitator, if you have an agitator, using a cotton cloth and vinegar. If you have any stains, try rubbing them with a paste of baking soda and water and a non-scratching sponge. That should remove just about everything. This rubber seal, which is found on front load washers, clings on to all kinds of bad stuff. So to clean this, just dip a cotton cloth into plain white vinegar and add 10 drops of tea tree or lavender oil if you like, and give it a good wipe down. You've got to get rid of all of that mold and mildew because that will affect the odor of your clothes when they come out of the wash. Next, we'll tackle the door and exterior parts of your machine, including detergent dispensers, cracks and crevices, frames, and all other exterior surfaces. All you need to do is use an all-purpose cleaner or vinegar and water and pre-soak any really dirty areas. Scrub where necessary using a cleaning toothbrush and wipe everything clean with a cotton cloth. If possible, you can soak your dispensing trays and then wipe them clean. Just a few final points regarding your washing machine and taking good care of it. Always leave the door open when you're done with your washing. This lets any remaining moisture evaporate and avoids mold and mildew growth. Also, and I know this one might be a challenge, but try to remove your clothes from the washing machine as soon as the load is over. Same reason as my last point. Finally, use the correct amount of detergent in high efficiency washers. Too much detergent will cling to the walls of your machine and lead to odors and dull clothes. These detergents are designed specifically to be used in small quantities. Giving your dryer the old one-two is a little bit more difficult than cleaning your washing machine, but arguably it's a lot more important to clean your dryer because dirty dryers can lead to fiery dryers. You see, lint is flammable stuff, and if it touches a heating coil, you know what happens. Now you can do this every six to 12 months, depending on usage. Start by unplugging your dryer and emptying your lint trap. You can also take the discharge hose out from the back of the dryer and give it a good shake to remove any debris. You might find something interesting caught in there. Now, all dryers are created differently, and I would recommend consulting your manufacturer's instructions for the exact directives on this next step. But essentially, you wanna unscrew the back panel and pop it off. When you remove that, you'll likely see a ton of lint on the base, in the canal leading to the discharge line, and throughout the innards of your machine. 
vacuum this up and use a brush attachment or crevice tool to get into any difficult to reach areas. I'll also take a vacuum attachment and get into the area where my lint trap resides. Then I'll vacuum out the discharge hose. Once this is done, give it a quick wipe down using an all-purpose cleaner and a cotton cloth, and then put everything back together again, including panels, hoses, and of course, plug it back in. Now once this is done, you'll notice your dryer will do much hotter and more effective cycles, not to mention your machine will be safer to use and use a lot less energy. Now fear not about the broken washing machine because with the bad news comes some good news. We've just placed our order for our new washer and dryer and they are en route, being shipped tomorrow, so I hear. And this has prompted Chad and I to finally finish this somewhat scary and creepy unfinished area in our basement laundry zone because when that's done, we will finally get around to shooting our highly requested laundry video series. So definitely something to get pumped about. And we will keep you in the loop in terms of our renovation progress down here in our basement. Our common question of the week is, what do you want to see included in the laundry series? What laundry quandaries do you have? Let me know in the comments below. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you like this video. And don't forget to click this button right here to subscribe and catch more of our great cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.